Hey guys, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to unbox this uh, new BenQ GW2480 LED monitor. So, let's look at the box first of all. It's an LED with IPS panel and it should have an HDMI port as well. It claims it's full HD 1080p. By the way, it is pronounced BenQ, not Bank or whatever. It's BenQ. This is the power cable. This is the HDMI cable. That's impressive because I especially bought an HDMI cable for for this monitor especially. Anyways, so this is a plus part. Usually you get a VGA cable with the monitor, but this one is giving you an HDMI cable, so that is something very good. So a piece of thermopole came from inside. You get a CD as well with a manual. The manual is in Chinese. Oh, okay, anyways. So this is a big piece of thermopole. Uh, Sadly, do we have? We have attached everything with these tapes. So, just a second. So further, you get a base for the monitor. And this and the support holder probably to hold this monitor with the base and there it is finally this is the thing for which i paid for like more than 100 euros uh -huh. This is interesting. So let's see what do we have with this. So we have an audio port for this. And of course a VGA input and uh, an HDMI input and a TVA input as well. And there's one power input. This is how the buttons look like. made of plastic doesn't seem so strong but uh, anyways will be useful so and these seems like speakers probably uh, now let's try to connect it with my laptop so the base looks like and the holder looks like so i'm going to share how are you going to uh, connect it so this is the steel part, it will go inside, make sure at the base there will be a screw, it should be loose uh, when you are inserting this holder.
go clockwise and it will be tightened so our base is ready now now we will connect the monitor with it how are you going to connect with this uh, monitor so the monitor just remember this is space with these rods steel rods this will basically go inside like see here so the monitor is ready so it has a plastic body not very really so impressive body wise and it cannot be uh, it cannot bend so it will stay like this the base is strong will not slide but it cannot bend so minus points for this feature pretty looks like a new monitor although and of course it's a new monitor so it also looks like a new monitor I just realized that there is a audio input and audio output here as well so you can even connect your external speakers if you want to and if you are using a VGA cable then you you may be able to use the aux cable to connect your device the laptop output to this monitor input to hear your voice via the speakers of this uh, this monitor this is the first impression and it's look well in fact it's look very nice so the negative points only the body doesn't look so strong it's plastic i mean the quality of the plastic is not very satisfying the buttons underneath are also of not very good quality and the base the base is strong that's a strong point but it can't be bent so you cannot bend it i mean you have to wash the monitor in this position the same position you cannot bend it like the other monitors so this is how it looks like we will check the buttons here so we have these options eye care display and input probably you can change the input of the display whether you want to use the VGA or HDMI and by default it uh, takes the input from whatever it available whatever it's connected whatever is available and it goes very fast so you need to be quick okay you have an option of blue light here the reading is like this office is like this probably you won't see much difference but uh, I can see the difference of light here so there you have the option to select the input again okay you have an a volume option sorry you have a volume option as well here and you can actually increase or decrease the volume from here that's nice and what other options do we have display picture you can modify the settings of the picture adjust it according to your needs you have more options audio again and there it is for system so what do we have with systems language I don't know what this custom key okay that was the first option I mean if you want to use it okay input audio switch you can turn it off as well okay auto power 
I mean, if you want to keep it all the time available or you want to switch it off after like some time. Resolution note is okay, fine, that's nice. Now let's check the video quality. Now let's test uh, one of my video that I made during my travel to Oslo. The video is available on my channel, you can see that if you want to. So overall it's a very good monitor, I mean I would uh, I would give like 4 out of 5 to this, I mean it's awesome, it has a very good display with the IPS panel, I'm very impressed but uh, I'm not happy with the quality of the, the plastic that it is using, I mean the other monitors are much better in this, uh, in this case but uh, the plastic, I'm not happy with the plastic. Otherwise, I mean, it has speakers, there is an HDMI cable with it coming, so, I mean, that's a very good thing. And the base is also very strong, I mean, much better than the one that I was using previously. Overall, I mean, recommend it, you can use it. Uh, and one more thing, uh, it's not a gaming monitor, for normal use it's okay, but uh, for gaming there are much better options, so it's up to you. I hope you like this uh, review and the unboxing of this BenQ monitor. If you like this video, please subscribe. Thank you so much.